Hi there, Perella Lewis. I want to talk to you a little bit about La Nina. The Climate Prediction Center released an update today letting us know that we've still got a weak La Nina present, but it doesn't look like it's going to make it into next year. So it'll hold steady through December and then likely begin to transition uh, to a neutral weather pattern as we get into January and February of next year. So those of you that had your heart set on a big, healthy snowpack, uh, a lot like last year, it might be lackluster, but we could still have cold snaps and it could still happen. Just want to get you updated on uh, the very latest with that. It has been warm for November. It's certainly not your imagination. In fact, as we take a look so far, I confirmed this with the National Weather Service. Shout out to Dana today. So far, the first 12 days of November have been warmer than average. The 11th warmest on record with the average temperature so far. Our daytime high in Seattle, close to 51 degrees. We are going to cool down next week. We will be cooler than average average for the first time in a long time, but it is coming. It starts on Monday and it looks like that cool air will likely be with us for the better part of next week, possibly even into the weekend. We have some hit and miss rainfall off and on throughout this entire week. Our snow levels are pretty high, so we'll see some high elevation snowfall with that snow level dropping behind a cold front that does come through on Sunday. That will be responsible for our cool down and eventually some pretty low snow levels down to 3000 feet by Monday down to 2,500 feet by Wednesday night. So temperature wise, we'll stay in the 50s for daytime highs with hit and miss rain throughout the weekend. And then we're getting to the 40s for daytime highs as we get into next week.